Welcome back to Kenny's Foreign Motor. Today we have 2007 Toyota Tundra. Does not hold chargers. When you jump it, die in the spot. When I opened the hood, I found was a Scoro or mouse right here. Like you see, there's some animal love here for a while and there's a fuse box and uh, uh, the wires I'm sure this somewhere is broken because the vehicle is not communication with the ECM PCM startup but does not move nothing work electrician so we're gonna give you updates keep watching okay we find a problem this 2007 Toyota Tundra it's not holding charge as we remove the battery and the fuse box right here. You open the fuse box. This is this vehicle, they jump it cross. So there's a main fuse right here. Move that harness 10 millimeter positive cable and move the four bolts for the fuse box and you separate this, you open it, it's right here. So that, to take this out, you have to remove this part under this fuse box. This vehicle, after they jump it across, is not holding any charge. Uh, all, uh, all window shafter uh, doesn't work. So burn two more fuses here. Just two fears and I'm gonna take it out and show you if you have any problem for your Toyota okay to remove the main fuse I'm gonna point right here there's a click one click right here it's one click right here just click it and another click right here and after you just with the screwdriver with your hand you push it down just like that or you pull it under it's out see this this little cover let's go on there you move the cover come out okay here's our problem side this right there See this fuse is burn main fuse anytime with any Toyota you jump across there's a big main fuse like this now you're gonna separate it with this that's how you buy it from the dealer this piece okay in the beginning I thought there's some squirrel was and this vehicle or mice uh, eat the wire but no the owner uh, the battery was dead cross jump it so stay with us to continue with the video we got the new fuse main fuse for the Toyota Tundra so this house is gonna come like this brand new you can buy it from any parts store or most likely from the dealer this house is gonna go and I'm gonna keep this one here I suggest everyone take one by one. If you do it that way, you know, confuse yourself. So you take this one out, you put this, and you put it in the other side. And to remove this, separate this little fuse with this. This is 10 millimeter. I just I just remove it from here. And there's a clip here. This is the clip. With the screwdriver, this is separate. This is by himself now. It's 
so what I'm gonna do I took this black wire out so you hold this with it that way you know confuse yourself you put one by one this one go there this one go there and this one go there you do the same thing on the other side keep watching okay the new parts installed right now so this is the old part we just took it out so there's a video in case you mess up the wire so that's how it's gonna go the black one blue and the positive and this one connect this little fuse box with the main fuse and the other side this is 10 millimeter the other side is only two eight millimeter and this little harness you click it out click it in and always I recommend uh, if you work on your car just make some space so I separate this it's click and I put bungee cord and this piece get out of my way with the mirror right there is bungee cord now time to put everything back together so remove that bungee cord see and this is best to your tundra all set the fuse box back together battery see i put my voltmeter the alternate charger 13.8 normal you see you take care of all the problem i'm gonna check the window first the window is working done the shafter shafting fine this is all set take care of the Please do not forget to subscribe my channel. If you have any question, leave the comment down below. I will be more than happy to help.